Hey guys, welcome to my sysadmin tutorials. My name is Aiden, formerly Rascal999, and I'm going to be teaching you some uh, sysadmin tricks today. <clears throat> um, I'm going to assume that you've already got a box set up, and I'm just going to dive, str uh, dive straight into file system navigation. Um, in this uh, episode, I'm going to be covering LS and uh, CD. Uh, it's a very, very easy start. Um, if you're acquainted with Linux, you probably won't need this tutorial because it's very straightforward. It's going to be quite simple. Um, this uh, series of sysadmin, uh, sysadmin tutorials will not focus on any GUI stuff. It's all CLI, so uh, don't be expecting to see anything fancy in these videos. Um, you'll maybe just see a cursor. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's try LS. As, may have you, as some of you may have guessed, um, LS uh, displays the contents of the current working directory um, which can be displayed using PWD. Um, PWD stands for Print Working Directory. Um, LS, uh, I'm not sure what LS stands for to be honest. List Directory Contents. I guess it's the first character and the last character of that sentence. Um, anyway, man page is useful. Um, you'll find a lot of useful information in man pages to do with the command you type. Uh, you can do man ls or man cd or man man. Um, uh, man pages are your friend. If you look, if you take away anything from these tutorials, um, take away the fact that man pages exist and they are very useful. <coughs> so ls displays the contents of the current working directory. Um, believe it or not, that is not the entire contents of the current working directory. We also have some hidden files and the way you display those is by using a flag called minus A which basically stands for all and it means do not ignore entries starting with a dot. Um, by default, if you don't have any arguments, you will not see any files or directories which begin with a dot. Um, this makes them uh, hidden in a sense, at least to the uh, ls command. So if we do ls minus a, we can see that we have a lot more things in the current working directory. We now have um, dot bash history, dot bash logout, bash rc, uh, dot ssh. Um, it won't apply to all um, environments, but for my environment at least. Uh, directories are actually color coded in blue. Um, ignore the dot and the dot dot. They're a, they're a bit well. They're not really special, but they don't mean um, they're not directories per se. They're more like pathways, um, which I'll cover later. So, um, so you can see we have um, um, ls minus a. We also have uh, another nice flag called ls minus l. Um, this uh, displays more information about the uh, specific directory or file and if we refer back to the man page um, there is a minus L flag in here somewhere let's find it uh, where's the... there we go use long listing format so it basically um, gives you more information so we have here um, the type of uh, what this object is, so is it a directory, is it a file, in this case it's a directory, hence the D. We then have permissions which I'm going to cover later. We have user ID and GID which stands for user, yeah, user ID and group ID uh, respectfully. We have the size of the file or directory. Um, now this size is a bit deceptive because even though um, this is a directory, um, it won't actually it won't actually um, summarize all the stuff in the bay directory but it'll, it'll almost always be this size 4096 and that's for a special reason which I'm going to talk about later on in my tutorials but for now just uh, you know if I created another directory and did the same thing they would both be the same size um, I will explain this later okay we also have um, date and timestamp um, this is the last time the directory or file was modified. It's not when it was created, um, it was when it was modified. So there's different <coughs> there's different um, uh, timestamps for each object, so that's another thing to bear in mind. 
Yeah, okay, so now that we've covered LS, uh, you can actually use these in conjunction with each other as well. So LS minus AL, and you'll get uh, this kind of format. Notice here you're, you've still got these sizes, which are, you know, this is the size in bytes of that particular file. Um, when you start looking at bigger files, this becomes sort of unmanageable. You'll have loads of like you know six or seven of these numbers, and it just becomes stupid. So you can use a nice little uh, feature called uh, the H flag, which stands for human readable, and um, it puts it in human readable format, as the man page says. So if we do ls minus alh, it now displays the uh, slightly less accurate but much more readable. Um, 3.2 kilobytes as opposed to the 3,184 bytes that you see. Uh, so yeah, um, let's say you want to change directory. Let's say we want to go to um, Bay. The way we do that is by using a command called CD. CD stands for change directory. There is no man entry for CD, and there's no help for it either. So let's just go crazy and take a wild guess that this will work. Okay, CD, CD bay, that will take you into the bay directory. We can verify this using pwd, which is stands for print working directory. We're now in home user bay. Um, we can also go back to home user using home slash user. And we can also go back to home user using cd dot dot. Okay. Uh, dot dot will take to the directory above the one you're currently in. So if you're in uh, home user, which is what we're in now, you can go cd dot dot, and it will take to home. If you do it again, you'll be, you'll be in the root directory. Um, the root directory is the highest directory um, that exists in Linux. In Windows, um, you have A B C D E F G and so forth. Uh, doesn't look, doesn't work like that in Linux. You have uh, mount points and such. You don't have separate drives. <coughs> okay, so now that we're in the um, root directory, we can get back to our home directory in one of two ways, or one of three ways even. Um, we can go cd home user, which is great. We can do uh, cd tilde. Um, tilde evaluates to the home user directory, which would be uh, home user. I guess I should prove this to you. Home slash user, that works great. And we can do cd tilde, which takes us back to the same place. Uh, we can also do CD. <coughs> CD on its own will take you back to the user's home directory. And that's it pretty much. Um, we can also go back to the root directory using dot dot slash dot dot. That will take us to the above directory and then the directory above that. So it will take us to home and it will take us to the root directory. Like so. Uh, we can also list the contents of the root directory using ls minus alh, and we have information regarding the contents of this working directory. Um, usual things here. You'll f you'll find this on most Linux systems: bin, dev, etc, home, uh, root, uh, some other things here as well. Uh, but I'm not going to carry on much longer because this tutorial's already gone long enough. My next tutorial is going to focus on other uh, navigational sort of fronts. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's going to be. I think it might be catting out files. So stay tuned for that. My name's uh, Aiden, and I have a forum at uh, forum.rascal999.co.uk, which you can register to and get with the community. Okay.